Hi there, this is Stephanie from Daz and I'm going to help you guys get started with Daz Studio. In this short tutorial we will cover how to install Daz Studio, bring a character and environment into our scene, and a couple other quick tips. First step, go to daz3d.com and click Download Studio in the top navigation bar. Once you get to the registration page, enter in all your information and click Download Now. The install manager will automatically begin and you can see it in the bottom left of my screen. You will then go through the necessary steps to install the DAS install manager onto your computer. The DAS install manager will appear and you will need to log in with the same credentials you use to register. Then you want to download the free products that come with DAS Studio. Check the box products and select start queue. Now you can see I have several free products to start creating with. Now let's open Daz Studio and begin. Now that Studio is open, log in using the same email and password you use to register. Now Daz Studio is connected to your account and you can access your free or purchase content. Now let's start setting up a scene. We are going to use a smart content and products view. Click on the figure, scroll down and click on Genesis 3. As you can see, the Genesis 3 product package includes a few figures hair, materials, and wardrobe. A good mix of items to help you start creating. So let's go to figure and double click on Genesis 3 female. Once she loads, you will see her in the scene tab on the right hand side. Make sure she is selected. Now go back to the content library on the left hand side and let's click on wardrobe. Let's double click on the dark storm outfit. The beauty of Daz is that the clothes will automatically load and fit your character perfectly. Now go to the viewport render settings at the top of the viewport. And if you switch to texture shaded, you will see all the materials on your character. Now let's add some hair. Go back over to the content library on the left hand side and select hair. Double click on your desired hair. Next up, adding an environment. First, we need to deselect the Genesis 3 figure in the top right scene tab. This allows us to see all the content available. Now on the left hand side, exit the figure product category and let's select environments. Click on Genesis 2 and select your desired environment. I've decided I'm going to pick Shaded Haven. Perfect. However, our character is sinking into the ground a bit, so let's go back and select our figure in the scene tab. And then head over to our parameters tab below that. In the parameters tab, you can see all of the objects in our scene and the associated sliders. Let's raise our female figure up a bit. Under the figure dropdown, click on transforms. In the transforms area, there are a lot of sliders that could help you adjust your figure placement. The X translate moves your character back and forth. Y translate moves your character up and down. And the Z translate moves your character forward and backward. So now let's move the Y translate so her feet are on the ground. Let's also play around with the framing a bit, leveraging the tools in the top right corner of your viewport. With the view tool, we are going to be able to rotate around our scene. This tool allows you to pan up and down and back and forth. This one allows you to zoom. And then with this one, you can select an item and zoom into it. And this one takes you back to your starting position. Let's play around to get a good frame. I'm going to frame in on this environmental feature and I'm going to move our figure using the transform sliders. Okay, now it's time to pose our figure. Make sure your character is selected in the top right corner and go back to our content library on the left hand side. And let's find the right pose. I'm selecting the Genesis 3 poses and I want to try this one on. Fashion Model Pose 9. To perfect it a bit, I'm going to go back over to my transforms and change my rotation. Now let's render this out and see how it looks. In order to do that, click on the camera icon in the top bar. As it renders, it's going to do a base render and then continue to do more passes, increasing the level of detail each time. Don't forget to save your work so you can go back and make changes if you want. Okay, cool. Our first render. Awesome. 
So to summarize what we covered, we talked about one, how to install Daz Studio, two, how to navigate the studio content library, three, how to add a figure, environment, hair, clothing, and a pose to our character. And finally, four, how to change the position of your view and your figure to achieve your creative goals. I hope you guys found this helpful and I encourage you to check out our next tutorial, how to set up a perfect scene. Thanks for listening.